Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be our weekly Wix and Wax video. I have a very full bin of wax, Wix, candles, cotton balls, the whole nine yards. So without further ado, let's get into it. to dig right in and get started. So this is going to be a mix of everything. I finished a bag of cotton balls. I actually never really show you my cotton balls. And I was watching Robin H here on YouTube talk about cotton balls. I was like, actually, it is really helpful to see like which cotton balls are the best because let me tell you, there are definitely some really crappy cotton balls. The Target ones are so small and they have their nerve to, to call them jumbo. It's crazy. These from Ulta Beauty, the Jumbo Cotton Balls. These are the best cotton balls to soak up your wax. And if you're wondering, Drew, why are you talking about cotton balls? Whenever your wax is in liquid form, if you drop one or two with these Jumbos, I only need one cotton ball in my dish. They soak up all the wax and then boom, wipe it out clean. Either what I do is I put a cotton ball in each dish and by the time I walk around and do that, I go back around with like a trash bag and I pick them all up. Then I take one cotton ball and wipe the inside of all of them out and boom, they're nice and clean. And about once a week, I'll deep clean my dishes. So I'll soak them in hot soapy water to really deep clean them. Some people I see online, their dishes are so gross. Uh, I've even seen some people's houses where I'm like, you need to clean your dishes because that's also affecting the performance. If you have like brown sludge on the bottom of your wax dish, that definitely affects the performance. So definitely get yourself some cotton balls or the Scentsy cotton cleanups. All right, speaking of Scentsy, I have a whipped vanilla lavender right here. I did this in my bedroom. I've never had this before. And this was pretty. It definitely leans like a very powdery bubble bath lavender. It was pleasant. It's not something I would necessarily repurchase. There's never really been a lavender fragrance that I'm like head, of, head over heels in love with need to repurchase. So it was good. It was a nice soft bedroom, but it would be nothing that I would repurchase. Next from L3 Waxy Wonders, I finished a loaf in blue sugar, warm vanilla sugar, zucchini bread. Yeah, and this I got in January of 2022. I love this combination. There's something so unique about blue sugar, warm vanilla sugar, and zucchini bread when they mix together. On cold, I do like all three of those notes, but there is something very magical about when all of those fragrances blend together. And so many vendors have this combination now. It's not just unique to L3. So if you like this combination and you enjoy vendor wax, definitely pick that up. I have a Yankee Candle in Lilac Blossoms that I actually stuck in the crock because it was getting super sooty. And you could only burn this for like three hours and the flame would like shoot super high in the air. So I was like, no, I'm just going to put it in the crock. There's still some scent left, so I might stick it back in the crock, but I was just over it at this point. It is an okay lilac. It's definitely more artificial leaning lilac than like Kringles or Diptyque's lilac. They're definitely more true. Even Bath and Body Works Fresh Cut lilacs, I feel like is a lot more authentic than this. This is like just a very strong, powerful lilac. I told you, I don't like chocolate and wax, except for this. Sinful from Kringle. This is a chocolate peanut butter cupcake. Listen, there's literally nothing left. Like, look at that. Burned to the bottom. I burned this in the living room. I've burned this in the kitchen. I've even burned this in my office and in the bedroom. She was traveling all over the house and no matter where I put this candle, it performed so well. If you don't like chocolate scents or are adverse to chocolate, you have to pick this up. I've not burned all of the Kringle Reserve candles yet. I'm one, I need to burn a candle down and finish it before I start a new one. It's just, it drives me crazy having a bunch of half-burned candles in my collection. So, 
I'm working through them. I definitely don't go as fast as some other reviewers, but I really enjoy my candles. Not that they don't enjoy them, but I really want to just sit there and savor them. And I like to sit down for these type of videos rather than a bunch of smaller individual reviews. So I love this. This is so great. If you don't like chocolate, try this. If you love chocolate, try it. If you like peanut butter, try it. If you just like bakery, try this. It smelled like you were literally making chocolate cupcakes with a peanut butter frosting laden with powdered sugar. It was rich, it was decadent, but it was also light, powdery, peanut butter, airy, delicious. This was incredible. I'm definitely getting, no joke, like six of them when they come back because I can't get, it was, it was so good, so good, so good. All right, speaking of a great candle, this is from Sassy Girl Aroma. She dabbles with candles. Sometimes they're on her website, sometimes they're not. They're not right now. This burned all the way down. This was actually in my old apartment, so it's traveled too, and I just finished this. A luscious and creamy blend of cocoa, milk, chocolate, buttercream, and leather. I know. Sure, you just said you don't like chocolate. This is way more leather forward with like a ribbon of cocoa, but more like a dark chocolate cocoa powder mixed with the leather. I'd love to see this in a wax. I really enjoyed the scent. Just a rich, really thick, like leather belt or a leather saddle, like a very fresh leather with that ribbon of dark chocolate cocoa powder. It was beautiful and it burned great and it was really strong too. So really impressed with that. Another Kringle that I finished is Botanicals and I put this in here, not realizing that the wax was still warm. So that was definitely me. This was not the candle's fault. I love this. I've said this in my video. This smells like walking into Phipps Conservatory here in Pittsburgh, but it also smells like I've been to Vegas and at the Bellagio, they have a conservatory. It smells like you walked into a conservatory. You get that fresh bamboo. You get those fresh florals, the greens, the very like watery, just life. It just smells beautiful, fresh, like everything is growing, everything is thriving. The spring weather is here, the rain is here. Anything like that, if you like florals, if you like fresh, if you just want your home to smell beautiful, like everything that you have growing in your home is just thriving, check out Botanicals. And now it's on the floor. <laughs> I finished from Bathing Garden, a Jumbo Clam and Carnival Junkie. Smells of blue raspberry, snow cone, raspberry lemonade, and strawberry cotton candy. I finished this Jumbo Clam. It was fine. Um, I'm getting really annoyed with all the glitter and all the pieces in Bathing Garden. And um, it doesn't de-stash well. So I'm just trying to use it up. And oh, it just, it's fine. I haven't found anything that I really loved from them. Next from Super Tarts, Cactus Sea Salt Buttercream Palo Santo. This was okay. You definitely picked up on the cactus and sea salt. But when you put it in the warmer, and what I did was I used a hot plate in my bathroom. Since I have a plug now, I put a hot plate in there. I did two cubes. And all day, it just smelled like a slightly woodsy cactus and sea salt. And then a hint of sweetness. I will say... You can get all three, cactus and sea salt, buttercream, and palo santo. It's really, it's really nice. It's very green. I like cactus and sea salt, though. So if you like those more, like, sweet, watery fragrances, I think you'd really like that. Um, uh, Scentsy's all the way in the bottom, so we'll save that. Speaking of, I finished palo santo in a BAM bag from Super Tarts. This is weird. Palo Santo Wood Warm Amber and Soft Musk. This is supposed to be the dupe for Bath & Body Works. But it smells like Coke. Like Diet Coke. Coca-Cola. So weird. It smells like the Coca-Cola oil. And it smelled just like that on cold, too. I have Bath & Body Works Palo Santo. I love it. It doesn't smell like the Palo Santo in here. It smells like, like Coke. Like pop. 
so strange. So I don't know. And it smelled like that on Warm too. Was not a fan. I finished Charmed from Super Tarts. Definitely trying to work through my Super Tarts clams. Melon, kiwi, sweet berries, and apricot. This was just a fruity, sweet berry scent. The apricot definitely added this, like, touch of a candied sweetness along with the melon. So it was pleasant. It was like a fruity scent. I had three tea lights in my office one day, so I did it in there just to finish them up. I finished from Diptyque, Foot de Bois. I've talked about this a few times on my channel. I will pop this wax out and put it in a tart warmer. And literally, even though there's like such a tiny bit of wax left in this jar, like the tiniest bit of wax, I still will get days of scent out of a tart warmer with this. So love the best smoky wood fire scent you've ever smelled. There's been a lot of very cold nights here, so I've been laying this on cold nights, watching a documentary on Netflix, just relaxing with the cats, and this scent, so good. So happy I finished that. Love, love, love. Oh, I finished a cleansing gel for Bath & Body Works in Fresh Cut Lilacs. I love this. Love it, love it, love it. Beautiful scent. Luscious lilac bouquets, dewy greens, and soft spring musk. It just smells like a fresh floral lilac bush. I'm partial to lilac, though. All right. I finished from Fantasy Wax. I did a lot of Fantasy Wax. Tematau, which is frozen margarita. I did all of these in the laundry room, and I wasn't really in there much, honestly. Palace Arcade, which is Sour Patch Kids type. Nope, that's not... Nope, that's not. Here we go. Squidward, which was wild berry cheesecake. None of these were really that strong. Viscount Bridgerton, which is honey buttered rolls. There we go. Yeah, like I said, I did all of these in my laundry room. Is that it for fantasy? That's it for fantasy. Oh, squeeze the day pods. I. In my haul, talked about getting a wall fan diffuser. Okay, so all of these warmers are on, but I have nothing in them because I'm actually getting ready to go to work. I'm just filming this in the morning. So I have this going right here. So strong. Like, these pods are blowing me away. Like, I am a convert to pods. Crazy. Like, I was so against pods just because I'm like, oh, I like my wax, blah, 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 blah. But, like, today, I'm up. It's 10 in the morning. I have to work at noon. So, like, I don't want to put wax in and, like, turn it off when I'm not going to be home to enjoy it. This is great. Turn on the pod. Let it get going and then turn it off before I leave. And I have that enjoyment of scent throughout the morning. So, squeeze the day pods. Enjoy that. Oh, I finished. This was terrible. Stroop Waffles from Zape. I Her labels turned, like, so yellow on me. Dutch Waffle Cookies, Caramel and Vanilla. Oh, this was like sickening caramel. I did not like that at all. Oh, another fantasy wax. Moana, Salty Sierra, just straight up. I actually did this one in the bathroom. And this was real. I love salt. I love Salty Sierra, though. So it's a very fresh blend. I finished from Teddy B's, a sample, I Love You to the Moon and Back. I don't, this is a dupe for something. This smells very perfumey. Like a perfumey. Bath & Body Works perfume, maybe? Something like that? I don't know. It's pretty. I finished from Candles from the Keeping Room, a sample in plum tart. This was great. This was a fruity plum berry with, like, the um, brown sugar crust on top. It was beautiful. I finished a Daylight in Avocado and Palm from Kringle. I did this in the bathroom a couple days. This was nice. I love the creaminess that the avocado adds to the greenness of, the creaminess that the avocado adds to the greenness of the palm tree. It's very pretty. I did from Candles by Victoria. Oh no, here's another fantasy wax. Scoops Ahoy, which is Summer Scoop and Waffle Tone. I actually really like that too. I did that in the kitchen. From Candles by Victoria. Since I knew that big scent shot haul was coming in, I wanted to use up some. <gasps> I did my granny's pie crust. I've told you a million times, this is the best scent. It's so good. 
It's the best pie crust I've ever smelled in my life. Orange chiffon bunt cake. Um, I actually, there we go. Orange chiffon bunt cake. Okay, orange chiffon bunt cake. Let's try that again. This is a fresh squeezed orange juice that's made into like a curd. So like a lemon curd, but with orange cake is what I get. So you get like that creamy, sour, orange curd almost cake. It was really pleasant. I am getting a my part two of Candles by Victoria Hall in this week. So I will film that. That's a candle haul. And I got a different orange bakery in a candle. So I wanted to compare. Ocean Mist. I did this in the kitchen. Love. This is great. This is just fresh. You open the windows. Salty sea air. Extra emphasis on the salt. Fresh rain. We had a very rainy day. So I cracked the window in the kitchen, put that in. And as like the breeze blew, it just threw the scent all over. Magnolia Blossom. Another one that I loved. This was a very sweet white floral. If you're familiar with Magnolia, it is just like a sweet white floral. It's really pretty. Really enjoyed that. And now on to the Scentsy. I did quite a bit of Scentsy this week. Um, Blue Sage and Tonka. I did this in the bedroom. Everybody raves about this. I didn't get great performance from it. So I don't know. Maybe I'll get another bar and let it sit for a while. It is a really nice scent for what it is. Like, it is a green sage. You get that sweetness that's almost like a smoked vanilla from the Tonka. But it just wasn't super strong in my bedroom. I don't know. I did... Whoops. Tropic Nectar. I have two of these. Tropic Nectar. I did it in my main space. This was a very fruit punchy. With a sprig of like papaya and coconut milk is what I... If I didn't look at the name, I say it smells like fruit punch with papaya, which papaya to me almost leans a little bit like dirty fruit. I think of beach when I think of papaya because that is like the worst bar I've ever smelled. I hate beach. It's like coconut milk and papaya. And that is in this, but with that punchy fruit note versus like beachy note, if that makes sense. So it was good. I wouldn't repurchase it though. I did Kukui and Coconut. I did this in my bedroom. I actually changed it up to see, I have two Salerno warmers in my bedroom. I have the Simply Diamond, but since I bought a second Simply Diamond, I took that one out of my bedroom and flanked two Simply Diamonds in my office, one on each end of my desk Love that warmer because when Father's Day comes, I'm going to get two of the slate gray Simply Diamond warmers for my bedroom. So currently I only have two warmers in there and they're the Salernos. They have big dishes and it says four cubes. So I literally just took this bar, four cubes in one, four in the other, and I barely smelled this. Kukui and coconut, I barely got anything from it, which was fine because I didn't really care for the scent to begin with. I did Coastal Sunset. This was a very coconutty. Like, ooh, ooh, it smells funky in the clam. It does not smell like that when you warm it. Ooh, that smells really weird in the clam. Okay, anyway, I did this in my office, and every time I walked in there, it just smelled like a toasted coconut. I'm not a big coconut fan, but it was like nice and it was steady. This was so disappointing. Lake my day. I did this in my main space. And all it smelled like I literally, I did what I do is I put it in, go to the gym, come out, come back home. And that's like, it has time to melt. Tell it's time to perfume the air. <sighs> this smells like watered down men's cologne. But like super diluted water down. I even picked up a dish and put it to my nose. Nothing, 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 nothing. I'm so disappointed with this. So I'm working my way through the spring releases, but I'm very disappointed in that. It makes me sad. Now this, very strange. My last bar of this, I did in my office. It didn't perform. I now did it in my office this week, three days. Melon and apple granita. And I loved it. This was like, 
Honeydew, cantaloupe, a little bit of an effervescent sparkly beverage. It's beautiful. I love this. And it lasted days and days and days in my office. So really impressed. And then I'm working on my Buzzworthy collection. Oh, I love this. Okay, I will say these are very old bars. Like they even have like the old, they don't have, you know, they stay in my warmers. Like crazy, crazy stay in my warmers. I have some newer batches that I don't even know how I got them. I got them from somebody, gifted them to me. And they were just, like, they were totally a different color than this. And that doesn't stay my warmer dishes. So I don't know if it's how these were stored or what, but if you don't like Buzzworthy, which I know is a lot of people, I love it. It's beautiful. It's like a sweet, sophisticated, rich honey scent. I love it. I did a bunch of testers in my bathroom now that I have a plug in there, trying to use up some old testers. I did Clean Breeze. Aloe water and cucumber, even in this, is a powerhouse. I went to my friend's house to bring my Diptyque City exclusives to smell. She wanted to smell them. And I walked in, and in her entryway, she has an in the clouds warmer. She had one cube of aloe water and cucumber that she put in, like, days before. And I go, is that aloe water and cucumber? She goes, yeah, I'm telling you. I, I, I will never get sick of it. Mystery man. Clothesline. I could smell this one for a little bit. These are very old testers, by the way, so I wasn't expecting much. And jammy time. This actually performed well. I was surprised in my bedroom or my bathroom. Boom. And that's it. 20 minutes, a little over 20 minutes. So that was some progress. I'm trying to condense these down to not be as long of videos, but I hope you guys had an incredible weekend. What did you get through this weekend? What are some of your favorites? What are your highlights? Let me know down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world and be kind. I love you so much. Bye guys.